All right, everybody, are we ready for this fun pink flamingo tutorial? Um, as you'll see here, I just went ahead. I'm using as my base tonight um, a piece of wood, um, a little bit. I think it's bigger than an 8 by 10. I don't know the exact size, but I will get that for you before this video actually goes live on screen. So anyway, I have went ahead and drawn in my flamingo. Feel free to grab your template and do the same, or you can also try to hand draw your flamingo in. So tonight we're working with some fun colors. I have just taken, this is an artist loft metallic cobalt blue. I've taken that. I've taken white, just plain white, and Royal Navy, and I have just blended those three colors up and down on the background of this piece. This, I think, would also look amazing on a black, flat black background. So, if you do decide to paint him in a flat black back background, I would love to see it when you're finished. Just grabbing my paint brushes and getting set up here. Um, so I'm just gonna use some flats. These are angled flats, I'm gonna use those. And I am also gonna use some round brushes. This is my liner. And I have a, let me find it. All the brushes want to hide when I want to paint. Nope, that's not it. I have some newer brushes here. Here is a Zen brush. This is Royal Langnickel, number three, um, a number three round. So I think we'll make do with those four brushes. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I want this to be a fun, whimsical piece, I'm going to use, here are my colors, I've got my Liquitex Fluorescent Pink. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am freaking in love with these fluorescent colors lately. I don't know what it is, um, but I am just in love with them. I'm also going to grab just a little bit of neon orange and I'm not going to use a neon but I am going to use some violet okay so those three colors and some white you can see here where I still have my blue from the background and I'm just going to put some white here we're just going to have fun. We are going to have some fun, guys. I might not even use this great big old brush, but I have it out. I am just grabbing, um, I don't know what size it is. It's probably about um, a quarter inch flat. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to grab some white on my brush. And I'm going to grab some pink on my brush at the same time. And I am just going to come up here and start basing in side of where I drew in my flamingo. And this is going to be fun and quick and easy, guys. See how that pink and the white together on the brush give you just a beautiful blend. So I'm just following around my pattern. I'm just going to go a little bit around the eye. It's okay if you paint over the eye. See how that pink and the white are just blending and doing most of the work for me already. I'm just going to keep bringing that pink and the white down his neck a bit or her. Okay, I'm just going to pick up some more color. I'm actually going to reach over here and pick up a little bit of this fluorescent orange. 
and I'm just going to come in under the eye and blend some of that in with the pink just in certain spots I can use white with the pink and the orange and it just looks so beautiful together and you can make flicking flicking motions with your brush flamingos are birds and they are covered in feathers see how i am just letting that pink and that orange just blend together and i'm just using the paint and just getting all that paint off of my brush look we'll just come down here with the orange and the pink is blending so beautifully just the colors are just so vibrant okay so i don't know a whole whole lot about flamingos except for the fact that they are beautiful um, one thing I do know about flamingos, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, is that they get their beautiful coloring from the food that they eat. So um, if I am correct, I was told that they eat a lot of shrimp. I'm just going in here. I've got pink and orange with a little bit of white just blended in my brush, and I... I'm just pulling that across the base to fill the flamingo in. And it almost is throwing um, a very purple look because of the base being blue. And I am loving it. Um, so anyway, I was told, and I could be wrong, so if you are a flamingo expert, Please feel free to correct me, but they get this beautiful pink color from all of the shrimp that they eat. And that is just something that I have been told. Coming in here with a little bit of orange, not doing anything crazy. We're just bringing our brush and we're just up and down with the paint letting it blend letting it look like there are strokes in there for the feathers look when i bring in the bright orange there it just is gorgeous 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 girls so i am going to dip into my violet and i'm going to come right in here around the curve of the neck just with the tip of my brush and I am putting in some of that deep violet color swinging it up and around we're going to come in here in a minute and do some really pretty feathery strokes I'm going to come up here again with some of my purple I'm going to use the purple to create a bit of a shadow coming down under his neck. I can do some under his neck here. I'm just going to, not even going to clean the brush. I'm just brushing some of the paint off. Um, now that this is drying, I'm going to come back up again with that amazing neon pink. I'm just using the chisel end of the brush, pulling it from the head back, the direction that the feathers would grow in short little strokes. You can come back in with some orange, mix the orange in there. Look at that pink is just stinking gorgeous. I'm going to bring in some more pink here. How about we hit a little bit of white right up close to the beak, and I'm just putting it there and pulling back. 
just letting it do its thing. I just love paint. I love to just push the boundaries and see what we can create with paint. Um, I'm going to grab some more of this beautiful orange, blend it in in just certain places. Feel free to use your own creativity, put your orange in different places. I am just, I'm dabbing that paint on, but with my strokes, I'm pulling back and around just to keep the motion of the direction of the feathers. I'm gonna come in with a little bit more white right here under the eye. Lighten that up just a bit. I'm gonna put some on the top. And I am creating hair-like strokes just with the tip of the chisel of that brush. Okay, I'm loving that. I can even come up here with a tiny little bit of this purple and dab that in there and let it blend with that pink. You can see how my brush just has all these colors and that darkened it up just a bit. So I'll come back in here and put a little bit more of that bright pink maybe some white didn't want it to get quite that dark yeah these colors are just beautiful you can play with it and just the more you move your brush the more blending that's gonna happen look at that gorgeous gorgeous heck yeah in with some more of that bright, bright pink. I am going to hit a little bit more of that violet, pull it through to create some depth and shadow. Come back down here and let's add some more. So on my brush, I have just some pink and some white and a little bit of that violet is still in there. And I am just painterly strokes here. I'm just brightening them up in certain areas. Right here around the neck, back here. Just keep alternating with that bright pink. It's gorgeous. where it gets a little muddy, just go back in with some of that bright color. I grab some more of the orange. Just playing, guys. Have fun. So I'm just putting some strokes here. Okay. Blend that in just a bit. All right, so. I'm going to put that brush aside now and I'm going to pick up my round brush. Now the round brush, we're going to need it wet. <coughs> and for this, <clears throat> I think what we're going to do first is let me try this stroke here first real quick and just see um, if I'm then going to want to change my mind. I'm going to Push that round brush down, wiggle it, pull it back down, angle it, and lift up. Okay, then I can come in with some of my neon, and I'm making little feathers. So again, with that white and pink, or white and orange, pushing and pulling that brush back, all right, let's watch it again. We'll do it right here. Push, wiggle, pull back, twist, and pull back to the point. And I'm curving that point slightly as I pull it back. 
so and now I'm going to grab some orange press pull lift and get some white and get that white in there just don't want this to be a tight stressful project so get that just it's orange pink and white on the round brush push pull wiggle and lift fix your strokes push make a round push pull back and lift see how we're just creating some strokes then I can take just the tip of the brush pull it in I'm making little hair like strokes okay I'm gonna use some plain old white here white pull in and lift white I'm gonna put a dot there pull that in to a point you're gonna cover that point and blend it in see how it just looks like strokes of the feathers some pink in there you can make some small ones if you don't like it just brush it out a bit you do not have to be perfect I'm just gonna blend some more of that white in I'm gonna make I'm just making little short lines with the pointed round or use your liner so I'm just pulling back feathers or what look you know it gives the effect of feathers we're just playing we're letting that paint blend and just create make sure you have some coming off the side and you can come here and add some small little flicks of feathers where his feathers come around I've got pink and white and I'm just flicking that following the direction of his neck and his body we're just creating colorful fun flamingo I'm gonna put a few here coming down at the front. Get some of that bright pink. Don't need a lot. You can get some of that purple and come in and do the same. Do some, just that little flicking motion with your hand, pulling that purple back into certain spots. I just think she's gorgeous. I'm going to come up here and just have some white on that brush. And I'm just pulling it upwards lightly to create the look of feathers. You don't have to do this. You could have just stopped where we were and she would have been gorgeous. And we'll come up and work on her beak in just a minute. I'm going to fill in her eye with white. That big old I. I'm going to fill it in with white. I'm getting some pink in there, but that's okay. Some pink there I don't really like, but I think I can lift it. Put some here. I'm just flicking feathers upward, over, and around. Don't be afraid. Just get in there. She's your flamingo. Life's too short. Stand out, girlfriend. Stand out. So I'm just hitting her with some orange in certain spots. She's, oh, I hope I'm not going out of the screen. She's like a rainbow flamingo here. Rainbow neon flamingo. I'm just pulling some of the orange down through. If I think I've hit with too much orange, just come back in with that pink. Ooh, 
lots of pink here on the back of her neck. All right, I think she is turning out gorgeous. So now let's work on her beak. We're gonna use white, we're gonna use black. So I'm gonna come in here with the white. Whoops, sorry about that guys. I hope it didn't move the camera too much. Let me just move this out of the way before we have a great big crazy. Everything is falling, everything is falling. The sky is falling. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit more white in that eye, and I'm just going to fill in this part of her beak with the white. I am okay with some of that pink and the orange getting down into the beak. I'm actually okay with seeing the blue peeking over as well. just going to follow the template. It's almost like a V there. Okay. So I'm going to just fill that in pretty good with the white. If need be, we can put a second coat. But I think what I'm going to do is grab some of that purple, just a tiny little bit on my brush. And I'm going to just hit this area with some purple in between the beak and her head. I just, I like that purple there for shadow and blend those colors. So you don't mind that pink getting in there. Not even a little bit. And just keep coming in and adding white. I, I might actually grab some pink and just put a few dots of pink here coming into her beak. Because why not? Soften that purple. There we go. All right, now I'm going to just grab black. I'm going to use my Deco Art flat or my Deco Art black. I'm just going to use some of it right out of the tube, and I'm going to fill this part of her beak in. Just using the tip of that round or the liner brush. Fill the black of her beak in there. You can fix your V. I'm going to grab my liner brush and just get a little bit of black on the liner. Where that V is, I'm going to just lay the brush, pulling it back and angling a little bit down to the bottom of the beak here. And then I'm going to just put another one here. Okay. You can blend this somewhat up into the white. It doesn't have to be a solid line there. Okay, then I'm going to just, with a light, light hand, put a black circle around the outside of the eyeball. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. We're going for a fun, whimsical, painterly look. I'm then going to put the black of her eye in here with the black. It's a little dot. Now... I know that looks a little bit crazy, but on the I'm going to take that liner brush again and put a very thin line in between those two circles. And if you can see close enough, 
I am not worrying about perfect lines because I'm then going to come in here and lightly tap that center circle outward. To smudge it a bit. Okay. Look, there we go. There's her eye. You know, if you really want, we can get in there with the detail. I have the tiniest, tiniest little bit of white paint on the tip. I can come in here, grab it, and pull down. And that will create that little bit of separation from her beak. Um, the two parts of her beak. We can also tap a little bit of that black in here. Just adding some freckles. And I like to put some here. I'm just dabbing the slightest little bit of black paint there. I think she's gorgeous. I'm having so much fun with her. Okay. I'm going to leave her like that, and now I will grab my pencil. Um, but first, what I want to do is pull my tape off. So I've got my tape around my wood panel, my faux frame. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bird. All right, so we we'll pull the tape off. It's beautiful. She's gorgeous. But I'm going to go ahead and hand letter where I want the words to be. And I do want them coming off. Sorry for the noise. That is like fingernails on a chalkboard, isn't it? So we're going to hand letter flock. Yeah. With my chalk pencil, this will be on your pattern. Don't stress, you don't have to freehand it. And I'm going to have that. I was getting ready to do another H. I mean, another K. Flock. Yeah. All right. So I, I like the look of that. So let's go ahead, get our liner brush and start filling in our lettering. I've got my small little liner brush here. I'm just going to get a good bit of the black paint. I am going to flip this around because as you guys know, um, once you get your lettering on, if you know where the ups and the downs are, um, you can then break the rules. So I am just going to slowly get those letters blocked in with my black paint. I want it to be thicker out here. To thin, make this circle. The paint is a little thick. Hold on, let me just get some fresh paint here in my lid. I think I might turn her back around. Hopefully I won't stick my hand in there. I'm not loving that. We'll play with it and fix it. Not everything has to be perfect, guys, but we'll play with her. We'll play with it and we'll see if we can fix it. I can just thicken. I think if I just thicken. The whole F. Up. 
around the corner and press. Lifting to the point. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to thicken that down stroke a little bit more. And then left, turning slightly up. Down strokes are thick. Up and around, thick down, lift to the point. Shirts. I love the way that looked. I certainly do not want to mess her up at this point because I think she turned out amazing. Do it K like this. There we go. Down. Up. Fix that line. I'm going to make this part of the letter a little bit thicker. Lightly down, around, and over. Up, down, I can fix these lines, they're a little wonky, so I'm just afraid I'm going to put my hand in the paint since it's still wet. So let me turn her so that I can get a better angle. The shoe's really cute even without the lettering. So if you're not comfortable putting the lettering on, um, she's adorable. Or if you want to take um, and find a different quote, that would be fun also. Just come in here with the brush fix those lines that are a little wonky. Looking at her, <clears throat> and I stinking love her. Let's do this. I got a little sick, but it's okay, guys. Does everything have to be perfect? No. So we have some thick, some thin. She may not be perfect, but she sure is cute. <clears throat> Let me 
thicken this downstroke of the Y. Cute art is attainable for everybody. I don't care who you are. Everybody can make art and don't compare. Who was it that said, just make art, let the people who look at it decide if it's good or not? Something around about that, um, that quote. I'm going to grab my palette back and grab a little bit of this purple. I want to come in here and put some of this purple around her eye. It just was not cutting it for me. Now I like think she looks a lot better. I'm going to dip just a tiny bit of that white in there and give her Guess what, guys? If you don't like it, you know what you can do. You let it dry and you fix the areas that maybe you're not totally in love with. This is what I would do. I'm going to come in here and darken around the eye a little bit. I'm just going to pull that back. And I am going to put a little bit more of a darker line. I'm just tapping the brush with the black around the beak line put more black back in there you can put some here feel free just play she should be fun there we go i think she's freaking gorgeous Now, I'm going to do something really fun. At least I feel it's fun. Nope, not dragging tape across your, your little project, but I am looking for my little fan brush. I'm going to take some of that pink, some of that orange. I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to add a whole, whole heck of a lot of water. I'm going to really get it inky. Maybe add a little bit of white just to brighten it. Or you could do all three colors separate. Now watch. I'm going to take my hand and I am just going to flick and tap. That was a little bit heavy, but I still love it. Tap some of those colors. on the piece. I love it. I love it. I don't care. I don't care that it... I'm going to flick more right here. I like that paint look, especially. I'm getting a lot up there. But anyway, I hope you like this project. She's fun. She's bright. She's beautiful for summer. Flock. Yeah, this would look great in a frame. I hope you enjoy this, guys. Thank you for painting with me. Find what sets your soul on fire and please go do it. Lots of love. I'll see you next time.